In Storm's Embrace, Herrera lies concealed. Night silhouette, a predator, revealed. Morning unveils nature's tranquil grace. Herrera watches over the valley's embrace. A slight pause as night weaves its nest. Life emerges from dreams, nature's bequest. All right, new nest. A journey unfolds as the new day is sworn. From the egg's cradle, an islander is born. <laughs> yeah. From a small hatchling to a ferocious assassin, an action-packed story is just waiting to happen. So sit back and relax, maybe grab a drink, cause today's adventure unfolds in a sink. No, no wait, not, not, not in a sink, like, I mean like, in sync. Yeah, uh, you know what, whatever, pull him over. Playing in like, close up is so cool, like everything just looks so big. Look how small you feel. Even the Herreras look big. <laughs> As a lot of my journey start today, I was hatched in by some kind Herreras. This was the beginning of a grand adventure, a true assassin in the making. But before we can get into that, we have some growing to do. And for that, I gotta make sure I eat all my nutrients, even when it's in the form of puke. Oh, that was like right in my eye. <laughs> With all three nutrients in check, my growth was now expedited by 50%, which is the max growth boost you can get in the aisle. If I could keep this up, I would be getting to adult in no time. Okay, we're about to reach 20%. Oh, I already can't beg. I have to eat food. And this is where my journey into adulthood truly began. I was now old enough to chew and eat my own food. This means I was no longer dependent on my parents' vomit. It was now time for me to leave and start my own adventure and hopefully leave a legacy behind that people will remember. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, look at this view though. It was time to get going as my hunger and thirst were not interested in good views, but they needed me to keep them full or when it reaches zero, so does my time on this island. Eat up my boy. Might be our last meal, <laughs> we know. So, off I went, now solo on a dangerous island filled with other carnivorous dinosaurs just waiting for an easy snack. I'm now alone, gone from the family. Hopefully, this will be a good story, unlike our last attempt. <laughs> My last attempt wasn't as smooth, there was a major lack of food in the area and my parents weren't able to keep me alive and if matters couldn't get any worse, I was also hunted down by a dialogue. So it could only be up from here. Our first step was to find some water safe from the jaws of the creatures that lurked below it. So I headed to the nearest lake and attempted to find a safe spot. After a small look around for nearby land predators, I made my run for the water. I was now very exposed and away from the safety of the trees. I would have to make this quick. All right, let's make this quick. But it was everything but quick. The game just had other plans. Drink. Why is it not drinking? Won't let me drink. <laughs> we can drink here. There we go. Please be no dinosaurs. Come on. Okay, we're good, we're good. Whee! It is still pretty much full server, so <laughs> we gotta be careful around here. I decided to head off to a nearby sanctuary to see if there were any juveniles I could snatch, but unfortunately for me, this sanctuary was completely empty, absolutely void of any life at all, so I had to continue my adventure forward. I don't seem like anyone's at this sanctuary here. And that's when I ran mm. into my first possible meal. <gasps> is that a... It's a Trudon. Pretty sure he'll beat me there. I guess I get a really good pounce on him. He kind of true. I reach. We hit it. <laughs> Come back. Unfortunately though, the sly Trudon had gotten away. This was good practice, however, as in the very near future, I wouldn't have as much room for mistakes. I don't see any blood. Damn. Oh, I thought it would knock it over. That would have been so cool. It's fine. We'll get the next one. Feeling defeated, I spent the next few minutes scouring the lands for more opportunities. Or at least a good location that hopefully creatures would congregate at often. It did take me a good while. However, when I thought all hope was lost, I found the golden spot. And truly, golden it was.
As I made my way towards the Golden Haven, my stomach growled impatiently, reminding me that I would need some food soon. Following the scent of food, I stumbled upon a tense standoff, two hungry carnos lurking below a tree, eyeing a Herrera perched above. Not the safest situation for me, but not knowing when my next meal might be, I curiously approached the smell of the dead carcasses around me. Oh, he jumped down. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Holy! The brave Herrera had narrowly escaped the jaws of the Kano, but had ended up in the same spot he originally was. Unfortunately though, there wasn't much I could do in this scenario but watch. Well, except for run, because now the Kano was after me. Also, I thought the Kano would be the only issue. As in the cover of the night, a hungry Trudon tried to sneak up on me, so I scurried up a rock as a Herrera would, where he wouldn't be able to get me. But I was also hoping an opportunity may arise, where I could maybe pounce him. Come on. Oh, that was close! <laughs> I had missed him by a slither of hair, he had moved just in time. Unfortunate, but such is the way of survival games, you can't always get your way. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't like that one, did you? I timed that really well. This place was not turning out to be a good spot to find food. I was still a while away from the Golden Haven, but I wouldn't get there if I didn't find something to eat and drink. So, I had to continue, even in this hell zone. It's hard to kind of keep up. What did he get? I mean, I suppose I can check on my Discord. I can check the kill feed. Oh, there. Dinosuchus killed Dinosuchus. Yep. It looks like it was some friendly fire. Dino killed a Dino. Just feed on compies for a little bit. There were a lot of carcasses in the area. Plenty of food to go around for anyone who was hungry. But for just as many carcasses, they were about double the hunters. All ready to kill anything in sight. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, please. <gasps> Ow, what was that? What was that? Ah, the tree done. The only time I could rest was in the treetops, but unfortunately the treetops could not keep me safe from the impending doom of starvation. I had to come up with a plan, and fast. Oopsie would have been nice. Do you know what? Take what we can get here. Oh my god. What is it now? <gasps> no! Oh yes, we got it! <laughs> We had managed to kill a Hipsy, one of the many diets of a Herrera. This was a big moment, but I had no time to celebrate, as soon the running smell of the carcass would bring in the carnivores of the area, and I was not big enough to fight anybody off. Alright, we're gonna have to go drink in a bit too. Um, I know there's crocodiles in this one, but maybe further down, there won't be. Uh, yeah, let's get some full stem first, and then we'll play it from there, I guess. My hunger had been satisfied for now, but thirst was still creeping up on me. I knew from earlier that there were likely still dinosuchus in the lake, but perhaps further down the lake it would be safer. At least I had hoped so. Little did I know, it was not the dinosuchus that would be the issue. The darkness of the night brought on something with many more adaptations for this perfect occasion. There's something here! Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I was now surrounded. Below me, I had the Dilo waiting, and above was its hallucination waiting to grab me. We're not doing too good right now. No, I think we're safe. It was clear the Dilo was not going to give up that easy. It was clearly very hungry, willing to go to the extremes for the kill. For now. Oh god, no. Oh my god, he's gonna try that again. Oh, he broke his leg. He broke his leg, okay. He won't try that again. Oh, I'm pretty sure 
that running up there is from his hallucination. I am bleeding and dying of thirst right now though, so this is not good at all. This was probably the worst case scenario for me. I was being chased by his hallucinations, I was bleeding out, and on top of that, my thirst was slowly killing me too. I had to make a plan now, before it was too late. This is bad. Honestly, my chances of survival were not looking good at this point. My blood was so low already, and on top of that, my HP was draining at a rapid pace. All I could do was hope my bleed would heal in time for me to still go and get water. Oh dear. Please heal the bleed. Please heal the bleed. And, by a miracle, I actually stopped bleeding. Okay. Now I just had to hope there were no hallucinations below me or Dinosuchus waiting in the waters. But, dying of thirst, I had no choice but to risk it all. Where's the water? Oh my god, this is water. Drink. Oh my god, this is terrifying. I can't see anything. God, I hate this. I am still poisoned, that's why I can hear it. Okay, I think we're fine there. Oh my god, that was terrifying. That could have gone so bad. Okay, let's just uh, heal right here. Oh, something down there. But I can't see anything. Somehow, the odds were in our favor. We were okay for now. It seemed tonight was not the night chosen for us to die. My god, okay. I think we're fine. I had finally arrived at the Golden Haven. The place I was trying to get to for quite a while now, and it was everything I needed and more. Food was abundant and it wasn't too chaotic. Well, food was abundant, if you could catch it. A small baby I was hunting had managed to sneak past me on his way back from getting some food. It was a common path I saw he was taking often, so I took my chances, but unfortunately he got away. However, that's when something else caught my eye. Is that a galley? It's a galley. It was a risky attack as he was guarded by such giants, but my food was getting quite low. Sometimes you just have to risk it all. The rain should cover my noises there. Ah, oh, they're blocking it now. A little bit of patience sometimes is all that you need. <gasps> oh, This would probably be the only chance that I would get. So, I had no choice but to take it. Got it. And finally I was awarded for my patience. I had gotten myself a meal that I deserved, but now it was up to the Stegos if they would let me eat. Are they gonna let me eat? I am not eating until they sit down. Okay. Thank you. What friendly Stegos. I filled my stomach as much as I could. However, two nearby Carnos had arrived. They didn't seem too interested in me, but you can never be too sad. I don't like that. You leave my galley alone. I need a drink soon as well. I really want to get that Tyranodon. Oh, looks like there's two. Okay, they're leaving. So, once the Kano's left the area, I went back to fill up on both my food and my water. Things were finally starting to look up. Hunting as a Herrera was just too much fun, and so, when an opportunity arose to do it once more, I couldn't resist but to take it, even if I didn't really need it. Do they land on those cliffs over there? I think they go on those cliffs over there. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Oh, he's right on top of that cliff. I wonder if we can sneak up on it. So, my hunt for the Pteranodon began. I would have to be sneaky as one wrong move and the Pteranodon would fly away. I made sure to tread carefully and use the noise of the thunderstorm to my advantage. With the storm, my sounds could be muffled, which is good. Oh, there's a raptor over there. There he is. I only had one shot at this. I had to make it work. There's another Herrera here as well. well I'm gonna beat you to it, buddy. <laughs> it seemed I wasn't the only one who planned to hunt the Pteranodon. I had just beaten him to it. 
<gasps> oh wait, I can still eat it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it seems like he's been hunting them too. Great minds think alike. Damn, now that's nice. I decided to leave the haven and instead started following oh, the sounds of a herd of Tenato. I had previously yeah, heard a baby like. with them, so I was curious if I could make something work. Some Tenanto over here somewhere. Let's see. Oh. Over here. Maybe they have like a child. Oh, they do. Oh, it's not like a baby baby. Oh no, that one I could probably kill. I had to wait for the perfect opportunity, however, as once they were alerted, there wasn't much I could do at that point. These arrows are making so much noise though, they're not gonna come all the way here. Oh my god, I could actually reach that. Oh, that'd be risky though. I decided that patience once again would be my greatest ally. Off they went into the jungle, but I was not going to give up on this fight just yet. With the nearby Herreras making so much noise, it was difficult to get a good pounce unannounced, so I decided to wait for them to leave the area before strike chased it away no damn i followed them for quite a while making sure i would not get seen up until the moment that i would strike this would hopefully give them a false sense of safety i needed any advantage i could get until yeah. finally while in the perfect striking position i would make my move I hit the small Tenanto from a very high point. It was now going to bleed quite a lot, but finishing a job was going to be harder than expected, and it was now heavily guarded. I wasn't sure what I could really do at this point. If I jumped, they were sure to catch me midair, and one hit would end my life. It was quite an odd standoff. You just keep doing that, it would do a lot of damage to it. By the time I had gotten even half of my stand back, they had started to move on. It didn't look like this hunt would be one I could finish. Well, at least not in today's video as part two would have a whole new adventure awaiting.